Good evening, folks. This is my first YouTube bar review. Um, so, yesterday evening, I went to JB's Poor House in the Hermitage, which is about about 20 minutes from me. Um, cool little area. Um, I met up with a co-worker of mine there. Uh, she said 60 cents wings and... I was powerless to resist. And on top of that craft beer, like I said before, it was match made in heaven. Um, upon pulling up there, I have the pictures on my Instagram. And I'll have the links to all that, as well as the address to JB's, if you ever want to drop by the area and check it out for yourself. I'll be glad to go with you. Um... When we pulled up, it kind of reminded me of uh, a Miller's Ale House. I don't know if anybody's ever been to one of those, but it's pretty much like a glorified sports bar. Most of them are pretty nice. Um, if you're into like watching fights and stuff like that, I would uh, probably prefer to go to one of those as opposed to like a Buffalo Wild Wings. That's a little bit more variety and the food's a whole lot better. And they got more beer. Um, so when we went in, um, first when we, uh, when I pulled up, it kind of looked like a, um, like a seafood place almost like someone I get like a clam chowder or something like that. Uh, but it was, it was a quaint little looking place. Um, when we went in, you know, some people had on masks, some didn't, all the bartenders had masks. Um, it was a little bit of a wait. And eventually when we met up, we uh, had a seat at the bar. Um, when I got there, I noticed that they had a nice little variety on draft. Um, I had about six IPAs, a few porters, of course, your domestics and stuff like that. And once again, I have um, some pictures on my Instagram. I, I don't think I got a good picture of the of the actual draft part which um the next time i go out i'll have my stuff together um i asked them about the specials that day they were doing um dollar off any draft beer and dollar off any well pour so i got myself a cranberry and rum um i don't know what the rum was but anybody who knows me i'm a pretty big rum drinker it was all right you know, it just tastes like this sugary cranberry alcohol, I guess. It was it was okay. Um and when I asked for a menu, they actually instead of giving me a menu I could hold, um, you know, to just cut down on germs and whatnot and you know, I guess this is dining and going to a bar in the uh, current condition that we're in. Um, they gave me a little um, QR scanner. It was like a little little piece of paper that had a barcode on it. And it was uh, it was neat. You know, I scanned it with my phone and voila, there was the whole menu. And I'm like, wow, this is amazing. Like, you know, and uh, so I had... Um, Saw the wings that I was going to order, and I was like, they're 60 cents, so I might as well go slap happy. And I got four different flavors. I got the mild buffalo, the lemon pepper, the cucumber wasabi, and the, the house flavor, the flavor of the month, which was firecracker. Um, whenever I go to a new place, you know, coming from Atlanta, like hot wings or like um, you know, they're on every corner that you look, they're everywhere. And a lot of them are really good. A lot of the hot wing places in Atlanta are really good. So when I come somewhere else and someone says hot wings, I'm like, you know, my expectations are really, really high. And, uh, so I figure if you can do hot and lemon pepper, right, you can pretty much do anything else. Well, um, so first I'm going to talk about the hot, 
Um, it was okay. Um, it, it was okay. It was a decent. I probably could have got like a little bit hotter. Um, my only issue with the wings as a whole were they um, weren't as crispy as I liked them to be. Like, you know, I like mine crispy, like crispy, crispy, like crispy, crunchy, like, you know. And, but I, other than that, I mean, they were big. They were big, meaty, like, like full of chicken. Like, you know, if you want like a nice, fat, juicy wing, like this was, this would have been right up your alley. So, you know, it came with all the assortments. You got ranch, blue cheese, came with celery. So the hot was okay. The lemon pepper... Um, I guess because it didn't have sauce on it was definitely the most well done of the four. Definitely had a nice crisp to it, a nice and very well seasoned. It didn't taste like, you know, high blood pressure um, on a chicken wing. And uh, so it was, it was okay. Um, the firecracker. I don't know exactly what they did to create that flavor, but it had like a, none of these flavors were really sweet. They had sweeter flavors, but I guess I just went with like the more savory, salty ones. And um, the firecracker kind of reminded me, I guess, I guess they were going for like a habanero type of flavor, a habanero, and definitely had more of a um, a peppery spice to it, and it, it had a hot sauce consistency on it, and that was that was pretty good. A nice little kick to it. Um, but my favorite of the four was the cucumber wasabi. Now, I've had cucumber, and I've had wasabi, but I've never had the two together. And those forces combined created a flavor that... I couldn't comprehend, to be honest with you. Um, so it was a creamier sauce on the wing, and it had like you know that that twang, you know that when you're eating wasabi, like this had that little kick to it, and then the savoriness of the chicken wing, and then that extra cooling of the the cucumber sauce mixed in with it. Uh, it, it was it was one of the most balanced chicken wing flavors I've ever had. So. My top recommendation as far as the food goes would definitely be the cucumber wasabi flavor if you ever go to JB's. Also, as far as the um, the drinks that I had, well, the beers that I had outside of the rum and sugar water, um, I had for the first time, now I'm a big IPA guy. You know, I like beer, period. But I prefer IPAs, and I saw that they had Bold Rock Hard Cider IPA. And I, I think I've had a Bold Rock IPA. I can't remember when or where, but I, I did like that. But the the Hard Cider IPA was actually... It, it, the, the combination of an IPA and a Hard Cider, you think of like the hoppiness... And the crisp sweetness of a hard cider, and it just worked. It, it worked. It was refreshing. Like it was. It wasn't like you know I'm I'm eating like a apple Jolly Rancher or something like that, or I'm having like a hopped out IPA where it's just like has this really sharp carbonated taste to it. It was it was smooth. It was like I was literally drinking like sparkling apple juice almost like a sparkling granny smith apple that had a little buzz to it um it was really good um i i would definitely suggest that if um you ever have the opportunity to try that definitely go for it um i also had another beer called the good people ipa it um the the draft spout it was um had a little like car on top of it. I think it was like a truck or it was like a little yellow truck. Um, that was pretty good. That was um that was smooth. Um, both of them, both IPAs weren't as strong as I usually get my IPAs. Um, usually the little heavier, more um denser. Um, and what I started doing just like I hear a lot of people say, well, you know, if I drink beer, I can't eat anything. And it's like what I realized if you're gonna drink when you're eating 
before you eat, if you want to have a drink, get a mixed drink or maybe something on the rocks. This way you can better prepare yourself for the food and plus you get a little buzz going. See, and the yeast from the beer will actually help you digest it better if you eat it after or maybe after you've had a few bites of your meal, then sip the beer and get that kind of accompaniment going on. Um, so all in all, I'd like to say that the beer was good. The wings were good. Um, the ambiance of the place, you know, it was, it was a typical sports bar on the inside. Um, everybody was really friendly. Um, it was definitely more of a family friendly type restaurant. You know, there were kids and stuff like there and there was no smoking inside and, you know, it was nothing like anything too crazy. I mean, they did have a patio with a bar on it where I could tell things get a little bit more lively because, you know, people can smoke outside. And um, I actually recorded a video. Um, I was trying to get the full ambiance to show you guys. And I'm about to have to, the next video I do, hopefully I'll have a better grasp on all this. Um, it, um, I was recording a video to get a full picture of what everything looked like. I should have just took a picture. Um, but there was a guy looking at me like, what are you doing? And I was like, Hey, what's up, man? You know, I got you on, I got you on camera, man. Like, yeah, they, yeah I'm a detective. I'm a detective Spence. I'm uh, here to arrest you or at least give your, your whereabouts to the FBI. Cause now we found you. And, and I went to the other side of the patio and the guy was still looking at me trying to figure out what in the world I was doing, but you know, the show must go on. And, um, so we had a pretty good time. Uh, I'll definitely go back. Um, once again, that's JB's Poor House in the Hermitage outside of Nashville. And I'll have a little bit more information in the links below when I upload this video so you guys can do your own research and figure out if it's a place that you will consider worth your time. I hope you guys enjoy this video and please subscribe and there's more to come. All right. See you guys.